So we are back and today it's time to go a little bit faster. It's very well driven. You can just tell you're kind of not leaning on it or not trusting that you can lean on it as much as you really can. How much did I suck or not suck today? So, you know, really and truly, I mean, I think you today would have been, you know, a top five car. What's up, people? So we are back, and today it's time to go a little bit faster. And for me to go faster in this awesome MX-5 Global Cup car with Fliss Performance, I have to figure out where I'm screwing up and going slow <laughs> and get over my own ego and learn something from the test driver, Andrew, which we're gonna do right now with that acquisition, bring you guys along and see it. So come on, let's go. All right, what's up, guys? What's happening? <laughs> How you doing, Andrew? All good, man. All right. This looks good. Well, I don't know about good, but we got information. Yeah. yeah. All right, so what do we got going on here in general for everybody, and uh, what what can I do better, other than everything? So in, so in general, we have our- Can you see it okay? Okay, sorry. We have all the data that we've acquired from the from the previous sessions overlaid okay. with, with a lap that we have from another car um, also running today here. Okay. So in red, we'll see here Casey's lap. Yes. Sorry, red is actually uh, Jackson's lap, and blue will be um, Casey's, so. Okay. We have different channels, RPM, throttle, brake pressure, steering angle, and then our GPS Got it. speed trace, right? So it's essentially how fast we're going across that lap. Mm -hmm. Every time you see those peaks in the valleys, those are usually the corners, right? Yeah. Our steering angle, brake pressure, throttle position, and then RPM. We can zoom in on all this and we can say, okay, let's look at turn one. Here we can see in turn one, there's- that Turn one here? Yep. Okay. A little bit of a speed difference there at the yeah, apex. Sure is. Okay. So let's go ahead and zoom in and see what, what is it that caused that. So you can go ahead, kind of get the cursor going. It looks like I'm slowing more on entry and then maintaining a similar curb, but just slower yep. through. Yep, so really nice curb. Um, throttle application on the way out was really nice. So the difference I'm seeing is the amount of brake pressure used. Where's the throttle the turn one. applications here? Yep, okay. here's the throttle application. So okay. you can see really nice kind of tip into the throttle as you get to the apex, mm -hmm. working slowly but surely to full throttle, well done. The only difference is here on, on entry, so. Ah, yep. the braking I'm doing the, the harder and coming a little slower. And here. longer, right? So if we look where Understood. we started the brake pressure, where we came off it, beautiful trail. I lo love the way the technique, okay. fundamentally well driven, just a little too much of it. Yeah. That's it. So, so it's just, it's it's getting in the ballpark and then we can work on start getting it right to the Absolutely. The okay. Yep. So we're definitely in the ballpark. Now it's a matter of just getting a little closer, okay. tipping away at it. But the technique is reasonable? I thought the technique is really nice, actually. Okay. That's your textbook trail brake, right? All the pressure up front and then trailing the brake off on the back end, right. kind of rolling the car into the corner. Really well driven there. Wouldn't change, I wouldn't change the technique as much okay. as just the initial hit on the pedal. Okay. A little less pressure. Okay. So into the keyhole here. Um, brake trace looks very similar to, to our to the fast lap, break, mm -hmm. break, uh, breaking at about the same point. The only difference I'm seeing here is in the in the last half of the brake zone. Oh, right? I stay on it longer. Exactly. So it's kind of a flat uh, flat tabletop looking brake yes. pressure. Where in turn one you had that beautiful kind of textbook trail brake on Aha. the back end. Here we have no trail brake, right? We've got we go straight to whatever this initial hit was, which we can. Is see. it possible I'm breaking a little bit early? And that's why it's happening. I'm coming into less braking because I'm braking earlier right. for longer. Yep. And then so yeah, naturally you don't you don't feel like you're getting in there as fast, or you're not going to brake as hard per okay. se. But then that caused you to to kind of hang on to too light of a brake pedal for too long. Understood. Versus fun limp, you always want to brake the same. So all the pressure up front, and then trailing the brake off on the rear side of it. Um, that'll help us here in turn two. Pla car placement could be part of it, so we'd have to look at that from from the video. But yes. In terms of in terms of footwork, that's what I would change, right? A little more brake pressure initially to work on the trail brake, just like what you did in okay. one. Let's apply it here in the, in the keyhole. Yeah, understood. Yep. So it'll then, be interesting. How am I doing at the end of the back straight? Away? Yep. So end of the back stretch is here. We're gonna have to go ahead, zoom in, so we can see we're braking just a little bit early uh -huh. here. I, I can put an, a number on it. I do notice that when people come up to the top of the S's, uh, some people seemingly carry less speed through that because I'm. My initial thought is with mid-Ohio, get that long back stretch. We stretch don't have out. massive horsepower cars, so yep. you need to stretch it out. So I'm I'm trying to carry more speed through there and bring it up because the top of the S is, is such a compromised corner yes. that yep. it doesn't seem like there's enough to be gained coming out of it to warrant coming over. And by at the end, other than I could break even later, but in here I'm able to, I was gaining on some people yep, there. Exactly, so that is a, that's what's happening here. You're getting a great run through the middle of the corner and off 
essentially just kind of carrying in that straight away. Mm -hmm. But we can even work more towards that and just break a little later and do the same thing. Because right. right? to your point, there's no exit at the end of turn four, right? Yes. So if we can just extend the straightaway a little longer, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Part of it in, in first driving these MX-5 Cup cars for the first time is trusting that when I bump it down a gear, it's not going to get right. squirrely, which right. I've come into going, oh, okay, this, this does flow really well. This car yep. is set up beautifully. So I think hopefully that'll keep coming. Yep. Okay. Turn six, kind of similar deal. I can tell we overslowed mm. the entry because look how much we're trying to get back to throttle. Oh, you're right. right? Yeah, so that's if, where I'm starting to push If you're being dragged into throttle that early, then that tells me, oh, okay. okay, by the way, we gave up a yeah. little bit on the entry. Where you're making your speed adjustments perfect. I wouldn't change a thing. Now let's just try it maybe with these new tires if we can't use a little less brake, right? So we broke at the same point. We just broke almost twice as hard for a little longer than we need okay. to. Okay. Now that is a place I'm finding a lot more speed. Again, being I, I'm realizing I can be more gentle with the brakes, flow the car better, carry more speed, and sure. just get yep. that next lower gear. And as long as I got the right timing and right point in, then if I can hit that apex and just carry the big speed onto that yep. street. Yep. Hard yeah. apex to hit. I always tell my guys just look into the grass, look inside of the apex just, curving. Just eat the curve. Just it'll help your it. hand speed. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. And I'm thinking with the fact that I'm using the throttle like this is potentially telling of me getting on it too early and trying too hard to make it yeah an incident. also i mean first day driving the car right well, so yeah. you're feeling it all out you're trying to get as much as you can without it biting you or you know, right with just knowing what you have to to work with so I yeah feel it's like, not my car i gotta keep it nice yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how that works i think the more comfortable you go with it the more the easier and smoother the lines will okay look. that looks like somebody just kind of searching to see what's working and what right isn't. Anything else you can think of or? No, no, I, I'm curious to see what it looks like after some sticker tires. Okay, it's, fair it's, enough. It's, well fair enough. it's very well driven. You can just tell you're kind of not leaning on it or not trusting that you can lean on it as much as you really can. Yeah, well, well yeah, well, again, not my car. <laughs> you got to get there. You Absol know what I mean? Absolutely, you know what I mean? absolutely. It's a one day thing. You it's know? very well driven though. That's what I'm saying. Like the key, the fundamentals are there. Now it's just kind sure. of adding that speed. Much appreciate, man. Yeah. I, I uh, appreciate that. I, I guess go hit it, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Right. Thank you, Andrew. Good luck. Appreciate it. Oh. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man. All right, you guys. So that was an, an invaluable experience. That's that's why data acquisition is so fantastic, and that's why. I think any race car driver that gets so huffy about their ego, they need to just relax because that's how you go fast. That's how you figure it out. That's how you study it. Uh, but I thought this would be a nice opportunity just to look at the car real quick while the, the wheels and tires are off. Um, it's just it's just exciting to see all the suspension. You, you see your coilovers, how it's adjusted. You can see all the safety paint marks and everything and how well this car is prepared. Also, as a note, if you want to look right in here, you can see these beautifully welded tubular structure here that's bolted on. And what that actually does is, there's structure inside the bumpers right here because they found out if the cars come up to each other and, and you, like say I got a car here and the front right hits this, the stock one could potentially deflect enough and then this front bar deflect enough that the tires could hit and send a car in the air. So there's things with regard to the preparation of these from Fliss Performance for the MX-5 Cup Series that make it so much better and safer that you don't see that translates just to an awesome car. But anyway, I gotta get out there, see if I can go fast. It's very inspiring. Look at all these awesome USF 2000 cars. Super cool. <laughs> see you guys out there. I guess we're good.
right, you guys, in one piece, car was good, had fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, also, the continuity of this video is shot because I am now wearing a black Fliss Performance hat, which I'm gonna take as an honor because I sucked up a level, a level that is low enough that got me a hat. So I guess they're not embarrassed to have me, but let's go look at the dad act and see what I did or did not do. All right, sir, so uh, this is the lie detector, and if I'm not mistaken, you've got You've got the best lap from the three sessions I did today. Yes. The first one, the second, and the third. So how do you how do you read this? What colors are each one? So uh, so realistically, what it goes to show us is that you know as you ran today, you know you got quicker and quicker. Okay. You got more and more confident. What you and Andrew talked about earlier today about the brake pressures, things like that. You could see that did you know you saw that effect. You could see right. where you know on the brake pressure lines you were less on the brake pressure in a lot of spots that right. you and having the confidence about. to just get in there yeah, and, and carry you know, the speed. This morning again you had you know you had tires that weren't brand new you didn't get to work those tires in right how many heat cycles were on those tires and all that stuff so it was a big difference it, going to sticker tires yeah definitely yeah. And, and it they are that you know these these tires are really good tires they they do hold up very well for mm -hmm. a 45 50 oh, minute indeed. race indeed. but you know these were tested on then we came here and we ran them a bunch it was still so, a nice edge and yeah. it gave a little extra it gives confidence. you yeah it gives you the extra yeah. confidence of what's going on there so so how much did I suck or not suck today? So no, so what's pretty cool about that <laughs> is that you know you get to see that you get to see uh -huh. how much you've you know improved yourself and and what you can work on next time. So, yeah, yeah, indeed. You know, one of the pages that they do have is a is a split report, a split time report, and it kind of shows you all the different times and the quickest you went today, where you went the quickest, what laps those were, how much you made an improvement yes. in that area. So uh, the aim system will let you take that and divide it up in different sections of the track. And that's what this is kind of showing. So really, you know, which is pretty interesting is your fastest lap today was a 138.72. Mm -hmm. And um, your predicted lap, if you would have done the best that you've done already. If like you if we took all put, my best corners. Yeah, all your best corners. Lap. In one lap, it would have been the 138.2. Okay. So realistically, it's not a far difference. I mean, a half a second is still a half second yeah. racing. It is a, a bit. But, yes. you know, that's back to confidence and things like that. And so. Here's another question. You mentioned there were a few small differences relating to this car or driving techniques with the guys that have been doing it for a long time that potentially would have picked up yeah, a little more so, speed. So today, yeah, so today when you were out there running, the guys that were running with you and the lead cars that were running with you, which I was happy because when I was watching from the, when the sidelines watching, uh, yeah. you know, you, you watch who you're running with and you yeah. were running with top. I didn't know any of those guys. You didn't know I'm who like, was this out guy there. fast? Exactly, I don't know. Not, right, so, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and a lot of these guys are here testing today for our event coming right, up. Right, right. So, they're learning things that we you wouldn't be really probably working on today on and that is some drafting, drafting techniques and yeah stuff. So, so these cars uh, they draft a lot with these cars because they're small horsepower right so the more they can draft two is faster than one and uh, a couple of tents and such there yeah so they're yeah. looking at how long can they draft because they have to watch your water temperatures they have to watch your oil temperatures and make sure right. that they can draft so long then they need to change you know right one other one needs a lead or they need to poke out right. so that's what a lot of guys were doing today. So some guys were out there running qualifying times okay. today because they were drafting Got and they were really pushing hard. Um, so, you know, again, with you out there today, this is our test car. We kind of, you know, came here. We really just wanted to give you an opportunity to do this and just show too. you what these cars do. And they also, um, one of the things we do do with these cars is because they run in so many different series mm -hmm. that we allow this car to also have two engine mapping systems. Oh, and now is that the, the two box. fuel settings? So, yeah, so it has okay. a fuel setting to run on 100 octane or on 93 octane. Yeah, and that was the switch on so. the dashboard, you guys. Currently the toggle switch was to the left at 93 octane. Yeah, so on testing wise and testing purposes and stuff, we just run 93. A little nicer on the car? Or? It's it, it it's about the same. I Less mean, it's, yeah, 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 exactly. Are and the other yeah, guys exactly. running the other fuel? Or yeah, most of the guys at this paddock right now are all getting ready for the race, so they're all running. Oh, under. so, so what know, might that be worth? That's probably another two tens i would say okay. probably on a racetrack okay. of this size with straight away and especially with the hills and some of the off you know yeah. stuff there for torque so you know really and truly i mean i think you today would have been you know a top five car you know i really? mean no doubt with just kind of getting everything there. together yeah maybe have a, another weekend just yes. put it together come back yeah, come a little back. experience with the guys and yeah. be running and then it just becomes racecraft the because i mean this right. series is so competitive the top 10 can win you know yeah. realistically we have guys well that's what drew me to this first, that's what i was know? so excited before before i even so, realized yeah. that you guys were a part of this and doing it yeah so. well i can't thank you enough for letting me come out and experience this and share the the yeah. mx5 you know the global cup no, car super. with everybody Fliss performance mazda mid ohio the indy yeah. car series it's been a great week <laughs> yeah no thank you for coming out and enjoying this and we definitely enjoy it and just want the guys and people to understand i think it's a a great kept little secret out there but these cars are really fun and uh, anybody can do it it's a, it's a fun little project well that's very true and you know truth be told i have not been in a car like this 
you know, I've driven a bit here and there, vintage stuff, but I was able to hop in it and reasonably confidently yeah. make half decent <laughs> laps, you know, get out there in the mix. Yeah. So for anybody that might be a little intimidated to racing or you're worried about maybe safety for a younger person or whatnot, I gotta be honest, I think this car is awesome all around. I wasn't concerned about it in any way in terms of braking or its reliability, so I was very confident with that. The safety factors are, frankly, the best safety factors of any car I've ever been in. So that was also wonderful. And you guys gave me the opportunity to have a lot of fun. So thanks yeah. very much. Well, thank you so much, you man. It. Enjoy it. Come back anytime. Definitely appreciate it. See you guys next time.